on guys, I'm Watch J. Ergo and today I'm here in the Wide Body Hellcat. This is a 2018 with almost no miles. It's the white one that was with us at Eureka Springs, the one Klaus just bought. Brand new. So let's get over to Amborghini's place and uh, get her opinions on driving the wide body Hellcat. But first, here's a quick hit of that glorious supercharger doing its thing. Personally, this is one super fun car. And just like that, Lamborghini's driving. Don't worry, it's her first time driving a Hellcat. It's both of <laughs> our first times driving a wide body Hellcat. That That is cool. Okay. All right, Lamborghini, what do you think about driving it so far? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> How's it feel? It drives really nice. So I wasn't planning on tearing up the tires, but uh, Klaus sent me a message after I left and was like, burnouts are highly okay. <laughs> and I was like, I don't want to tear up your tires. And he immediately replied with, it's okay, they sell more. <laughs> so let's teach Lamborghini how to do a burnout real fast. She's never done a burnout before. Uh, all right, so basically we've got traction all the way off. I just shut it off for you uh, in the Hellcat. You, um, it should be in sport or in like a normal traction mode and then you hold it for like 10 seconds until it says traction off on the display. So I'll show you that real quick. There, traction's in street. You can see my finger at the same time. Hold it down until you hear the car beep and traction will shut off. There we go. ESC off over there in the center. And of course the performance page shows traction's off. Okay, so now to do a burnout, go ahead and put the car in drive. All right, now you're gonna kind of give it enough brake to stop the car basically. So like let it roll forward just a little bit. All right, that seems about right. And you're gonna want the wheel straight. And of course, uh, once it starts to take off, you can steer the car pretty normally. If it starts to head anywhere, immediately just let off the gas and just push on the brake, right? So okay. you just wanna stop the car and it'll stop the tires like that. All right, so to do the burnout, you're gonna give it a little bit of that brake pressure and then basically give it full throttle so it'll start to spin the tires, right? Because you need the tires to light up and you don't want the front tires to take off for a second. I gotta wait on this car. Also, this road's closed, but there was one car on it uh, heading out of the closed road section, so we had to let them pass. Okay, ready for this? Back a little bit of break, and yeah, rock and roll. A little bit, that, or like... uh, Wheel straight. Well, I feel like I'm going this way. No, it's gonna go straight. Okay, so. Nope. Not enough? Not at all. Yep. Okay. One more try here. There you go. There's a little rolling burnout at least. So that, that was a tiny it's, one. Yeah, that was kind of like a really nice launch actually because traction showed up really fast and uh, it would have gotten you out of the hole really quick. So oh. this time, a little more brake. Okay. And then just get on the gas for real. There it is, there it is. <laughs> All right, just let out. Perfect. <laughs> Perfectly executed burnout. Just a nice, that was probably like a little five footer there. Okay, I'm gonna hop out for a second. Amber's gonna do a big burnout, I guess. <laughs> we'll see what happens here. That was kind of a baby burnout. Here's one more try. I'm gonna do it this time because I suck at it, so. As always, that was fun. Hellcat burnouts are nasty. They're really good at blowing the tires off. Amber, how was your first burnout? Um, not very good at it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was fine. You definitely, you've got it down. Basically, uh, you just kind of keep doing that and over the years, I guess you turn into a professional. <laughs> professional burnout master. <laughs> Profe it's such a stupid thing to be really good at. <laughs> I'll practice and I'll be as good as you. Exactly. 
I just want to practice and be like Ken Block when I grow up. Man, these people are flying down this road. Closed roads are definitely the best. They, there's a couple houses at the end of it, but the road's closed for bridge repairs, so you can go as fast as you want and know nobody will be on the road. Klaus just messaged me again and said, uh, don't forget I have that red eye coming in like a week or two, and you can compare it to that. I don't know how many red eyes they're making, but there can't be that many. I think you're a qualified Hellcat driver now. And uh, Amborghini, of course, daily is a LS2 GTO. So some of the videos we have coming up are five things I hate about my GTO. <laughs> I mean, we might as well, right? That sounds like a fun video. And uh, everything that's broken on my GTO because it's a, it's a little bit older GTO. I know she's trying to find a new car right now. It doesn't love me that much. Yeah, and the Hellcat's pretty nice. What do you think about? It's, it's pretty nice. Yeah, maybe uh, pick it up one of these. <laughs> Honestly, this thing's an amazing daily driver. It's super comfortable. Everything's heated and cooled. It has plenty of power. It's just a good car. Well, look what we just found. It's the limo's long lost twin, except it's uh, a party limo. Every limo's a party limo if you want it to be. That is true. How's it sound? That's true, actually. GTO is stock. GTO has no noise. Amborghini has to run to work, so I'm gonna take this back across town. And that's it for today, guys. Please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you wanna do, and we will talk to you next time. All right, we're on the highway, uh, just cruising down the road for a while now, so let's talk about driving the wide body Hellcat. Visually, it looks big, and I mean, it looks really big. It's not that big of a car, but it seems like you need to do a lot more work to put it where you want to put it. Uh, but when you actually go to drive it, it responds to the inputs wonderfully. The steering's, you know, quick enough for a car of this size. It's not that like razor sharp quickness that you'd see in like a Lotus or a Miata or anything, obviously. But also, it doesn't exactly feel like a yacht in the ocean. I know everyone makes boat jokes about it, and uh, they never get old. But, uh, you know, it, it feels pretty reasonable to drive. Uh, it doesn't have too much body roll. It's planted all the time. It goes into the corner exactly as you would expect. And the power. I mean, this car is about the power. And, you know, I've seen plenty of people prove that this car can go around a road course, go around the mountains. It can go around just about anything you want if you're up for the challenge. I've seen Hellcats come around the corners with tire smoke just rolling out on the road courses and fly through the canyons and everything like that. So what it lacks in, you know, modern drivability, like the point and shoot we're all used to on all wheel drive cars or a quick turn in and everything like that, it absolutely makes up for in power. There's just so much power. And when you get on it, you're rewarded with that scream from the supercharger and that scream is heavenly. Here, here we go. <laughs> oh, it never gets old. For an automatic transmission, it's incredibly quick for a torque converter based automatic. Uh, the shifts are snappy and respond about where you want. If you decide to shut traction control off, you should probably call your insurance agent, get the deductible lowered, or at least be prepared to call them back and make a claim for putting the car in the ditch. I know I talked about the features a little bit. Uh, I said it had a heated and cooled seats and a heated steering wheel. It has basically every option. Um, there's really not much you could add to it. I mean, sunroof, power everything, all the uh, features in the infotainment you would expect. Uh, I don't think this one has active cruise. It's one of the only features it doesn't have. Yeah, it is missing the active cruise buttons there. But uh, yeah, it is loaded and you would be hard pressed to find another car this loaded with this much power at this price point. Oh, would you look at that? I went the wrong way. Anyway, the final takeaway from the wide body Hellcat is it feels super planted and it's super easy to drive. And uh, I know that the tire size, I mean, it's just a little bit wider. I think it's on 315s or something from the factory. Um, you can do that on a stock Hellcat. It's not a big deal, but the wide body makes it look so good. Uh -huh. If there's one thing I know, when your friends loan you a vehicle, fill it back up with gas for them. This box that just showed up from Rigid, uh, they said they were going to send me something after that video. And I'm excited here. It looks like a whole Rigid care package going on. Wow. So we've got, we've got some koozies, some Rigid own the night koozies. That's awesome. There's another one. Rigid hat. Wow. That rigid hat is actually 
super nice looking. I'm, I'm a fan of that. Let's throw it on real quick. Oh yeah, and uh, uh, lanyard, nice. That would have been handy at SEMA. Bottle opener. Uh, key floaty for your jet ski, cool, cool. Uh, key chain, rigid, nice. What is this? This is a uh, reusable cover. Like, I don't know what this is, is this a flag? It is a flag for the garage. Woo wee! That, that is cool. It's hard to do this one-handed. That is a big flag too. Wow, I am a fan of that. And then uh, there's a shirt. And <laughs> what a care package, guys. That's a, uh, send me one of everything. Uh, and big rigid decals, that's cool. Thanks a ton, guys. Let's go play with some cars.